Tom? No, he really settled down and, um, you know, got it together. I, it, it was a little shaky there for a while. He was up in the zone and we really didn't think he was going to make it, you know, through the fourth inning. Really settled down and gave us six quality innings. Seth's just kind of been a steady presence all year for you. What yeah, he hasn't disappointed. He, he's been the player we thought he was going to be. You know, you, I listen, you always expect a little bit more from each and every one of your players, but uh, he, he's been good. He's been steady. He's been a true professional. And, Lord, when you leave today, what do you take from this season? What's, what's the first thought that you leave here with you? You know, I, I try not to think about what ifs, but obviously. Uh, the struggles, you know, with our bullpen. You know, a lot of people made a lot of reference to our offense in the first half, but you know, our offense last year wasn't very good either. Um, and obviously, this offense has been tremendous in the second half. But you know, the fact is, you know, when you blow as many saves as we've blown, you, you wonder what could have been. And you look at teams now that are in the playoffs that are going to win 87, 86, 87 games are going to be in the playoffs. So uh, it's a little frustrating from that standpoint, but. Uh, listen, there are no regrets. You know, you come out, you give everything you got every day. And, and I said earlier, I'm very proud of this this club. They're resilient. They gave me everything they had every day. Some days were, were better than others, but I, I can't fault the effort. It, it was there each and every day. When you look at this, who in particular took steps forward? What, what are you most proud of of what you saw in the field from some of the guys? Well, you know, obviously, uh, the emergence of Marte was, uh, you know, kind of exciting. He did a lot of, a lot of good things in a short period of time, and I think he has a bright future. I, I was really proud of Gutierrez you know, with his comeback. You know, I, you know, he battled a lot. So, um, and and then we had guys that were steady, you know, all year. Uh, Nelson Seeger, Robbie was. Uh, Tremendous. Uh, he's a trooper. You know his his level of tolerance for pain is exceptional. A lot more than most players. And uh, he was out there every day. Uh, you know, even the day want to take him out, he said, "No, I'm finishing." So, Floyd, when you took the job, you talked about a golden age of Mariner baseball. Two years into it, how yeah, do you feel? I still feel that. Listen, this this club is in a much better position uh, now than the first day I got here. There are a lot of good things going on with this club. Uh, they got an emerging superstar in Taiwan Walker. Uh, I think he's going to be in this staff and anchoring this staff for a long time. Uh, we have a nice group of core players. They're championship quality players. Now, they're, they're pieces that we need around the edges to make us better. But, you know, that's a work in progress. Uh, and I'm proud about I'm proud of where this club is now than from when I took it over. You know, uh, this journey this year was disappointing. There's no question about it. But each and every season has a different journey to it. And uh, like I told my players, we'll be better because of this. You know, you, you learn from your past. And uh, you know, sometimes when you're on the verge of winning, you, most clubs take a step back. It's unfortunate, but I think this club is in a position to win going forward. You, uh, um, you, you've been around baseball a long time, seen a lot of things. Does it seem at all absurd to you that two years into your tenure, that your job might be considered precarious? No. No, you guys told me my job was precarious the day I stepped on campus here. Yes. So, <laughs> what the hell is the difference? <laughs> on that note, ice cream for everybody.